understand that this is not just a season, but it's a shift. The portal just got open. This, is, this isn't a season, this is a shift, a shift in the dynamic, in the way of thinking, in the way of acting, in the way of behaving. An understanding, when you have an understanding of who you are and where you are, there's a shift in your behavior and in your lifestyle. So there's a shift, it's not just a season, it's not just a window, it's a shifting in your mind. It's not just a portal that's just been opened, but it's rather a position that has been established. I don't want you to think that this door, this window is going to somehow close, but in fact, it is a position that we have been granted and given through Christ Jesus. The uncommon favor realm is a, is a position. It is, it is an established position. It is not something that God just did now. It is something he has released and that you've come into. And I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that this season of uncommon favor is not just an opportunity. It's not just an opportunity, but it's an opening. An opening, an opening, a gateway, a movement, and a portal, an a, a entrance, an opening opening and opening not just an opportunity because we are not in the body of Christ opportunist but it is an opening it is a it is a something that God has revealed that he has already released and I want you to understand that in your mind and in your thinking today because I didn't just come to provoke you to praise although you will praise if you get this but I want you to get it first because it is in your understanding that this shall solidify something in your life that will be able to change your life for the rest of your life. I don't know about you, but I don't want to come to church and that's the only time I can feel something. I don't want to just, I don't want to be in a church and that's the only time that I can get an affirmation. But I need that what I learn in the house of God uh, to be able to transcend in every area of my life. When my mind changes, then my life mind changes, then my life changes. Transformational thinking leads to transformational living. Transformational thinking leads to transformational living. Uncommon favor. You may be seated in the presence of God today. 1955 in December the 1st it was a day when the world was introduced to an unknown seamstress by the name of Miss Rosa Parks. Miss Rosa Parks was a seamstress in Montgomery, Alabama who refused to give up her bus seat to a passenger. Miss, Miss Rosa Parks was not the first person to ever have taken on such an encounter. In fact, many had gone before her by the likes of Miss Lizzie Jenkins in 1854 or Miss, Mr. Homer Plessy in 1892, Miss Irene Morgan in 1946, Miss Sarah Louise Keys in 1955, Miss Claudette Coving that are all rode on that same bus in that same system, but most of you have never heard of their name until right now. But the name that you do know and recognize is Rosa Parks. Somebody who did what somebody already had done, but yet you had never heard of them. What is that about life that somebody can do the same thing, but yet you never hear them? But then when somebody else does it, you all of a sudden hear them and they come to a place of recognition. What is that about their life that you can follow a pattern and behavior and other people can be in the same place at the same time, hearing the same thing, but yet don't have the same response in their life? What is it about that that I don't have to be the first, but if the favor of God is on me, it can push me to the forefront of something that I really was the last person to do? 
Y'all ain't helping me up in here. Uncommon favor has shift you from being the last person to the first person. And though Rosa Parks was the last person to do what five other people had already done, uncommon favor that was on her life put her from the back to the front. And it was through her dedication and decision that God chose to incite a movement. I wish I had about 50 people in here that was ready to say, I don't care if I was the first, but I'll tell you one thing. God's about to do something in my life that'll cause a movement to break out. Sit down. What is it about that that her, her posture, her attitude uh, in this moment, her civil disobedience had affected the sparking of the bus boycott in Montgomery. This brave woman, Rosa Park, who was then arrested for violating a city ordinance. But I'll say that she was arrested for more than just the city ordinance. She was arrested by something that God put in her that day that said, I've been standing up all day. And today, I'm not about to get up. I'm going to take my seat. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. I'm looking for my 200 people in here that understand that there does come a day when you get tired of being sick and tired and you say, I may have tried that yesterday, but today ain't the day. That's right. I said ain't. Today is not the day you can become arrested by something that's greater than you that's trying to prove something through your life arrested by possessed by something that's beyond you that says today is a day that I'm going to mark history today is a day that I'm going to shift the minds of a generation today is the day where when you woke up this morning you had no idea that I chose you for something that would be written in the history books something so grand something so great you thought you were just a seamstress but I'm about to move seamlessly through your life and cause people to understand who nobody once knew. I don't know. I'm just crazy enough to believe that any day God can take me from a nobody to a somebody. I thought I had some revolutionaries in here that believe I don't come to church just to come to church. I come to church because I can change the world. If that's who you are, I dare you to be bold enough to stand up and declare I'm a world changer. I didn't ask you where you work. I didn't ask you what, how much money you got. I didn't ask you what your education was. All you got to do is choose to be possessed by the one who possesses everything and let the uncommon favor in your life shift everything around your life. High five somebody and tell them I'm a world changer. Sit down. Tired of coming to church just for goosebumps. Tired of coming to church just to get pumped up. I come to church to change my mind. Because when I change my mind, I change my life. And my life is bigger than the people that I see. My world is greater than the people that's in my face. I'm a... I'm a world changer. Shifts her position, her lonely act of defiance began a movement that ended legal segregation in America and made her an inspiration for all freedom-loving people everywhere. One moment can incite a movement. 